Hey guys, this is Nia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here again with another speed painting, but this time of a tempura bowl, which was my first meal in Yamanaka. I actually ordered a soba and I thought that the soba noodles will come with just tempura, and it turns out that it came with a tempura don, which is a tempura bowl with rice. Uh, nevertheless, it was still really good. I ended up finishing the whole thing even though I was really stuffed, but I also got a good reference photo for it, so I'm really happy with that. For this painting, I actually tried the Ecoline liquid watercolors again because I had a tough time in the previous uh, painting that I did, but even for this one, I found it even harder because it has much more detail, and what I found was the liquid watercolors has very different consistency to my normal watercolors that I use. So even if you mix in a bit of color with the normal watercolor, the consistency is fairly thick. It has like a very... It's like if you put a little bit of cornstarch in water if you guys cook, you will know what I mean. With the normal watercolors, even if you have it in liquid form, which is from the tube, you can tell that in its um, wet stage, it's actually still very, very thick. So with the dried watercolors, when you put a little bit of water, it actually thickens the water a little bit. Whereas the Ecoline liquid watercolors, it's like painting with colored water and it bled out a lot. So I couldn't really control it at all, especially with a very detailed painting like this. I found it really hard. It was really nice when I was painting the seashell leaf, as you can see here, because the colors can transition really nicely between um, different tones and variations. But when I started painting the details, like when I'm painting the mushroom, the paint would just bleed out outside of the line. and. I found it really hard to predict because I'm still not used to this consistency and I keep on forgetting that it's really hard to make a clean line unless the previous layer is completely dry. At this point, I didn't want to give up yet, so I tried another experiment which is to mix my normal watercolors with the eco line um, to just change the consistency a little bit. It didn't really work unless I put more watercolors compared to the Ecoline. But the thing is, the Ecoline is actually very vibrant, it's so pretty, but because of that, I also needed to add more water into the Ecoline, and then I have to add more watercolors, which makes the ratio a little bit confusing. As I mentioned before, I've had these Ecoline paints for a while now since uni actually but I never really got the chance to use it properly and back then in uni my teacher actually called it Ecoline ink instead of watercolors and I would totally agree with that. It's just that I've been watching a lot of videos and they call it liquid watercolors but to me it acts much more like ink but instead of it being alcohol based this is actually just a water based ink. And I know that some brands of markers actually have water-based ink instead of the normal alcohol-based ink like Copic markers and stuff like that. So to me, this painting right here feels like I've been painting with ink. Like, I don't know if you guys have tried playing with Copic markers before, but when you try to lay down just one color, it creates such a nice flat color and just a flat surface. This has the same effect because the paint travels really well, but because I'm mixing it with water, the paper becomes more wet, and if I try to pile on the colors while the paper is still a bit wet than usual, it moves much faster than a normal watercolor would. And yes, I've read the side of the packaging. It does say liquid watercolors, but in terms of application, for me anyway, this is more like ink than watercolors, and I'm sticking with that. Despite all the things that I've said, it doesn't mean that I think this is a bad product or anything. It's just very different to what I'm used to, and to me, it's probably um, supposed to be used differently and applied differently. It might not work with all the paintings that I do, but I am thinking of maybe trying this out for 
a galaxy or a loose more abstract painting it might look nice with that because the vibrancy would just it would just make the painting pop plus I wouldn't need so much control with those types of paintings or maybe if you use it like uh, for a cartoony illustration and you just want a flat color to go with it it might give the same effect as Copic markers would I don't really do any cartoony types of illustrations anymore these days so for me personally what I would use this eco lined for is just to add to my normal paints which is what I've been doing here just to add extra vibrancy to the watercolors that I usually use this has somehow turned into a review but no it's not it's not a review at all I'm just telling you what I feel um, when I use this paint because it, to me I was just experimenting with it too um, anyway so let me just tell you guys what's coming up in the next few weeks so um, next week I'll be uploading another montage this time of Enoshima and it'll be a bit longer than before and I filmed part of the haul but I'm not done with it yet because I've been really busy with Skillshare recently I really want to get um, a class out which will be of painting galaxies with watercolor and gouache paints if you guys are interested this class will be a beginners class I'm currently still filming and editing and doing all the voiceovers and the final painting will be in real time so you could paint along to this if you guys are interested remember to keep a lookout uh, I should or I have set the deadline to be the 23rd of September and I'm really far behind at the moment so yeah sorry I could only post this one video instead of this and the montage for this week if you guys want to know more about my Skillshare classes as usual I will leave the link in the description box below if you're not a member yet you can actually get a two months free premium membership by using the link down below yeah so that's enough rambling for this video I'll let you guys finish watching and I'll see you towards the end
since we're almost done here. This was actually quite challenging because of the Ecoline paint, but overall I think I'm really pleased with the finished painting. The colors of each ingredient really pop out and I'll probably think of ways um, to mix in a little bit of the Ecoline paints in the future because I find that it actually makes a huge difference in terms of color. So thank you guys for watching till the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new in the process. Have a good day or night depending on where you are from and I'll see you at the next one. Bye!